Okay, in this quick video, we're going to talk about how you're going to scan your homework this year and how you're going to submit your quizzes in Google Classroom and in Canvas. Um, all of your work has to be uploaded as a single PDF file, and I'm going to show you how to do that with your phone really easily. It only takes two minutes. It has to be a single PDF file, though, so no matter how many pages of work you have, it's going to be one PDF file. I'll show you how to do that. You may not, okay, send pictures, so you cannot take pictures of your work and upload those. I can only grade it with my grading software if it's a PDF. Okay, another thing you have to keep in mind is that the file name of your work has to be your last name. Okay, the way it's spelled in PowerSchool. So let's say your name is Stephanie Morales Lopez, like hyphenated like that. You need to start your file name with the, with the word Morales. Or if you want to include your first name, or let's say there's more than one person named Morales in, in your class, then Morales, Stephanie.pdf is fine. Or Morales uh, quiz, you know, that sort of thing. All this is fine. Just don't start it with Stephanie. Don't start it with uh, your first name because your first name is going to put you in the S category and you're supposed to be in the M and it's going to throw off the grading. And then that means during the grading process, I have to stop and rename your file for you. And if I have to do that, I'm not going to give you full credit for your assignment. Okay, you're supposed to do that. So please make sure you name it with your last name. Last thing is don't upload anything blurry. So when we do the scanning right now, I'm going to show you how to make sure that your picture is nice and clear for each page and that you have a very readable document. If I can't read it, I'm not going to grade it. So to get all your points, let's just be clear here. You want to submit a single PDF whose name is your last. Okay, so let's get going. All right, here I have uh, an iPhone. You're going to need three things. You're going to need the Notes app, which is built into your iPhone to do the scanning. You're going to save to Google Drive, or you can use iCloud Drive if you prefer. And from there, we'll upload to Google Classroom. If you're on an Android phone, you'd have to download an app from the Google Play Store. Um, there are lots of free apps like Genius Scan or uh, Cam Scanner or Adobe Scan or any number of free options out there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up Notes right here, okay, and create a new note. And once I've done that, so if you type something, it becomes a title. So we'll call this CHS Scans, for instance. And you can just type notes if you want to, notes, notes, notes. But that's not what we're going to use this for. What we're going to do is come down here to the camera, okay? And in the camera, you get the option to scan documents. See that? Okay. So scan documents. And now suddenly, all right, I have my notebook here. And I'm going to, I have a four page homework assignment that I want to scan. Okay. So here we go. Here's how you scan four pages into one single PDF file. You just hold the phone until the entire page is there, and the phone will recognize that there's a paper there and it will scan it. I didn't, even, I did not even press the, uh, the camera button, it did that by itself. But you can press it manually because sometimes it doesn't recognize something. Like, so this next one, I'll actually press the button manually here. So I get it in, in, in. I'm actually going to shake my hand a little to make it blurry on purpose. You'll see why later. Okay. And I'm going to press the, the button there. So I just scan that one. All right. Keep scan. Okay. Uh, here we go. Next page, fourth, third page rather. Okay. Right there. Okay. It automatically found the corners and cropped it itself. And here's the fourth page. And this fourth page, I'll actually, um, I'll press the button myself here. And now when you press the button yourself, it asks you to drag the corners. So I'm gonna intentionally scan, you know, crop this the wrong way. I'm gonna crop this like this, okay? And the reason being is I want to want like one page that's badly cropped. All right, now once you're done, you come over here and you press save, okay? And you'll see that we're back in the notes app again. And if I want to, I can, you know, type more notes. Okay, now here's the thing. You're in the notes app. You have this four page PDF over here. See it, one, two, three, four. This is the thing that we actually want. We don't want all of the notes. So if I go up here right now and click on the share sheet, which is what this is, if I do this right now, okay? Well, if I do that right now, it's going to export the entire note, not the PDF, okay? 
I don't want to do that. You want to export the PDF, not the note. So just be careful about that. You're, here's what you're going to do. What you're going to do is tap on this and it's going to go full screen. And now you look down here, you'll see the four pages that you scanned. See these right down here? And you can rearrange them actually. Like if I were to grab this last one here that's dark with my finger, you can't see this, but I'm grabbing it with my finger and I can drag it to the first page or drag it to the middle. Oh, hold on, grab it, drag it to the middle here. So now it's the third page instead of the, the first page. Or originally it was the last page, so let's make it the last page. So you can rearrange the pages by dragging the icons down here with your finger. You can add more pages with the plus button. You can crop the pages, which this one right here is in desperate need of cropping, so I'm gonna recrop it. Don't give me something like this because you've lost most of your picture here. Like this is tiny hard to read and I have all this extra stuff. I don't want to see what's on your desk like my Alexa there in my lap. I don't want to see that stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to crop. Okay, we'll hit crop and drag in the corners to the corners of the page. A little magnifying glass appears to help you better see the corners of the page. All right, and once you've got that, you can hit done. And now that's a lot better, right? That's a lot more readable. You can zoom in and check to see if it's blurry. You must do this. You must make sure that you're not handing in a blurry scan. All right, if it's blurry, I'm not going to accept it, like I said before. So there, that's good. That's good. Page three is good. Page two, um, I want to get rid of this page and I want to replace it with a better version of the scan. So what you do is you go to the page that you want to delete and go down here and click the delete button. Okay, so I'm deleting page two. There, it's gone. Now I only have three pages. I need to get page two back here. So now I'm gonna scan, I'm gonna press the plus button and scan page two again. All right, so where was page two? That's page one, that's page two right there. All right and check your cropping. I'm gonna crop out the coil. See that coil there in the corner? I'm gonna crop that out because there's no need for me to see that. Okay, and just get the entire page. Hit keep scan and now save. Now my fourth page is page two, okay? That's, and it's nice and clear. It's not blurry anymore. However, it's in the wrong order. So what I'm gonna do is come down here, grab page two and drag it, well, you know, grab this last page and drag it to the second spot so that it's in the right place. So grabbing it, touch and hold, and then drag it over. And now my four pages are in the correct order. There's page one, page two, page three, page four in the correct order, and my scan is done. If your page is for some reason not in the right orientation, you can flip it using the rotate button. If it's not dark enough, click on the filters and try one of these other filters. Now, right now I'm using color and it's pretty good. Okay, it's nice and clear, but you can try grayscale. Ooh, that's a little light, so I don't like that as much dark. You can try black and white. That's much darker and you can't see the stuff in the back. So that's, that's, that's not bad. And then you could try photo and this is the horrible one. Don't use photo because photo just looks terrible. It's yellow. It's hard to read. Don't use photo, please. And if you use another app, um, like Cam Scanner or Genius Scan, don't use the photo option. Use one of the, you know, one of the other options. Color is usually the best. Okay, so now my scan is done and I'm ready to upload. But before I upload, I need to change the file name right here. Okay, so we're gonna tap on the file name here and we're gonna make it our last name here, which is Morales, right? Morales, all right. And like I said, it could be Morales, comma, Stephanie. It could be Morales, comma, uh, Stephanie, quiz, homework, the date. It doesn't matter as long as it starts with morales because I need these documents to be in the alphabetical order they are in PowerSchool. So anyway, there we go, hit save. We got the right file name. All the pages are nice and you know readable. It's time to go to the share sheet. If you go to the share sheet, you notice it does say PDF document here and that's how you know you're doing the right thing. So I'm gonna save to Google Drive. And you see it's asking me, okay, save the file Morales Lopez PDF to your account. Yes, hit save. 
and there it is. Now it's in your Google Drive. Okay, you can tap on it to look at it if you like. There we go. Okay, you got all four pages there, see it? And that is how I can grade. I can, I can write on this and I can grade this. If it's pictures, I can't grade it. Okay, so anyway, there it is, it's there. So you can exit Google Drive and not Google Classroom and find the class that you want to upload to. Okay, so now I'm in Google Classroom, I'm in my algebra class, and at the bottom you see the classwork tab. This is where your assignments will be. So click on classwork, and it'll show you all of the assignments. So I have homework assignments, I have tests and quizzes. This is from last year. So, I don't know, I'll choose a homework assignment here that was from June 4th. And you'll see the assignment, and you'll see that I attached you know, a copy of the the lesson, okay, that day. There's the lesson and the answers to the homework and all that sort of thing. But your work is where you wanna post your homework here. So uh, grab this little arrow here and drag this up, drag it up again. And now you can add your homework right here, add attachment. So click on add attachment and you'll see the first option is Google Drive right there. Click on Google Drive and you'll see there's your homework right there. Morales Lopez, tap on it. It's gonna upload it, just wait a second, and there it goes, right there. And then you can hit submit. Turn it in, submit, okay? And then verify it, and there you go. Now your homework has been submitted, and you'll know it's submitted because it'll say unsubmit here, okay? If you don't submit, unfortunately, <laughs> it says right here, assignment turned in. If you don't hit the submit button, which some people do, they'll upload and forget to hit the submit button. I'm sorry, but you're not getting credit for that assignment. Or if you submit it late, it's going to be late. So make sure your assignment is submitted because I'm not keeping track of when you submitted it. Google uh, Classroom is. And it's set for a certain time and date. And if you miss that time and date because you forgot to hit submit, I'm sorry, but that's the way it's going to be. So make sure you take a second and you look and you make sure it was submitted properly. Now, let's say for some reason, okay, and then you can just drag this back down to get out of here. Now, let's say for some reason you hear from me you know, the next day and say, hey, I can't accept this. I'm trying to grade it, but it's blurry. Or you're missing a page or I don't know, something. Some reason why I'm not going to accept it. And I give you a second chance to re-upload it. So let's say you want to resubmit something that you already submitted. Here's how you do that. You come back to this same assignment here. You drag this up again. You come to the button that says unsubmit and you hit unsubmit. Okay? And then verify again, unsubmit. Now, once you do that, you'll see a little X pops up here, a little X next to the, the file name, which allows you to delete it. So click on the X, okay? And now you've unsubmitted the assignment and you've deleted the attachment. You have to delete the attachment, okay? Unsubmitting is not enough because the attachment's still there. And now you can upload something else. So let's say you go and you rescan the homework so that I can actually read it. Um, so hit add attachment this time, go back to Google Drive, choose the file again, re-upload it, and then hit resubmit, okay? So that's how you're gonna resubmit an assignment for whatever reason. Let's say you just made a mistake uploading it, you wanna upload it again, that's how you would do it. Okay. Just remember, all your work has to be a single PDF file. You notice we had a four page document, we only had one PDF file. Do not take pictures and upload them to Google Classroom as pictures because I cannot grade them. So some teachers might be fine with a photograph, I'm not because I want to grade these papers and get them back to you. So PDF, please. Uh, make sure the file name begins with your first, sorry, your last name, not your first name. I know you like writing your first name first, but write your last name first. And then after that, you can do whatever you like. And finally, make sure you don't upload any blurry documents, okay? Uh, you know, if I don't have time to, you know, contact you and say, please re-upload, then it's just not going to get any credit. It's going to be a zero. So I might have time to say, you know, to email you and say, please re-upload. I'll try to do that in the first week or two of school, but after a while, I'm just not gonna keep doing that because it's, it's a tremendous waste of time. Just make sure you check your assignment before you hand it in. Zoom in, look at the stuff closely, make sure it looks good before you uh, upload it to, to Google Classroom, okay? All right, and that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. This is a YouTube channel after all. <laughs> um, actually, subscribing is a good idea because you'll know when the lessons go up and you'll be able to um, get notifications. I'll see you at the next video. Check this.